Hello and welcome to another episode of Genuine Healing Down Under with your hosts, me Marvin Schneider. And me Jen Ward. Hi everybody. In today's episode, we are showcasing another Genuine Healing private session. We are doing as many of these as quickly as we can because a lot of people do get benefit in watching other people's private session as part of their own process of healing their body, mind and soul. Jen, I mean, I mean, everyone needs um, needs their own healing. And so we're, you're basically training people to be their own healers. Absolutely. And there is the ego pulling them back from the edge all the time. Some people might want to have a session with me and, and know their inner compass says, have a session with Jen. And the ego is pulling them away saying, no, don't do this because the ego knows they're going to change and, and, and outgrow the ego's um, control. So when they get to watch other people's sessions, it's almost like dipping their toe in the water. They get to mm. get used to the water and realize everything's fine. She's not going to mind control me. She's not going to manipulate me. Everything's okay. And I will be good on the other side of this thing. So. I th- I, I, thank you for reminding us of that. Having a session with you is pretty, it's different. It's pretty, it's incredibly transformative. And so, you know, at one level, it is a pretty big deal. So the opportunity to watch other people's transformation in their private sessions, I think is incredibly helpful for a lot of people. I, I'm not tooting my own horn, but I'm in awe thinking of you know where i was like 20 years ago i'm in awe that there's such an opportunity for people to get over their own shit so easily and that i'm in awe of my own level of training everything i've been through in this lifetime and many lifetimes was honing me with compassion understanding insight so i know exactly what that person is going through and how far i can push them without pushing them too far. It's a delicate balance. It is. Um, well beyond my pay grade babies, that's why you are the star of the show. I'm just here to make you look good. No, babies, you know, I got to take a minute and say thank you for all the work you do on the technology and and teaching me, you know, how to present better and, and all the editing you do. So... Props to Marvin. Thank you, babes. All right, let's get into this session. Uh, this private session is featuring a uh, young woman who had a couple of things that she wanted to work on. She was a Reiki practitioner, or at least she was trained in Reiki, uh, but that wasn't really the core of the the private session. That's sort of more of a by by the by. The only reason I mention that is because she does have a background in perceiving in energy so it's interesting when energy healers go it's kind of like heal the healers Um, and you've done a number of these heal the healer type events Um, but this one was interesting for a couple of reasons a couple of core issues that came up Um, let me address the first one Uh, we might get a couple of others in here in this showcasing but uh, right off the bat the the issue around sort of self-image and not feeling beautiful came up. Um, do you want to tackle that topic? Oh my gosh, if people could get a sense of how deep this issue is, it's it's survival. Because in a past lifetime, on the surface, it just like looks like women are trying so hard to be beautiful and they, they're competing to be the most beautiful and it's a compulsion, right? In past lifetimes, Imagine in a man's man's world where you only exist if you have the attention of a man and how connected he was in relationship to how much he wanted you. So your self-worth and beauty was contingent on survival. Ugly Hmm. ducklings died. Ugly ducklings died. You know, they became slave servants and used up. Thank God we've evolved a little bit. (laughs) Babies, it's not easy to be a trophy wife. (laughs) 
No, but you carry it very well, baby. Thank you for thank you for your service. I always love how hard you laugh when I say something <laughs> like that. Like glutter a laugh is like insulting, but that's okay. Did you see me blush when <laughs> I had to defend myself on that topic? <laughs> You're still blushing. Yep. Keep you, keep defending yourself because it's gonna come up again and again. Well, see, the thing is that there's there's no good resolution to this because the more I try to deflect, the more I dig myself into a hole. It's just not mm-hmm. worth it. No, if you would just listen to me, you have one job. <laughs> Your only job is to adore everything I say, everything I do, and make me feel important. How hard can it be? Simples, simples. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the client. Um, so right. you've you've spoken about the underlying sort of core past life issue related to a lot of people's, but possibly particularly women's um, self image issues. Um, so we get that. Yeah. So in in this woman's past lifetime, she spent a couple, at least a couple painful lifetimes in a harem setting. Meaning like, you think that men are competitive, but when you have a bunch of women vying for one man to come in and only one is gonna be chosen to be the queen or the princess or even the concubine, which is um, a step up, then there's, there's this hierarchy within the women and it's cutthroat because it is life and death. The others are servants that had ones get to be, you know, worshipped. So those relationships made with women in those past lifetimes bleed through to the present lifetime and how you regard other women in this lifetime. Mm. But, and um, whether you appreciate women or whether you compete with them, you get a sense of your own past lifetimes through your d- own dynamics with other women. Mm. So, um, and it's interesting that you mentioned that because in the private session itself, it came out that the client had some um, challenging family dynamic connections with the mother, the sister. Was there anything that you were able to pick up from a past life connection related to those dynamics? Yeah, they were all in the same harem at one point. So they were all competing for the same limited amount of attention. So they there was a underlying resentment that yeah. there was no reason for in this lifetime, but there was definitely a reason for in the past lifetime. Mm. The interesting thing is that the client originally came to you I, from memory um, because she'd lost her job and she was struggling to find the right sort of career path and was looking for a little bit of guidance. And you did address some of those issues, but, you know, they, they were kind of peripheral issues because you you spent the majority of the session dealing with you know layers and layers below the the symptom. Well, here's the thing: with a lot of people, people don't understand how entitled they are in this lifetime. In this present lifetime, looking for a job is as as difficult as it gets for some people, and in the and that is a that triggers a core issue in past lifetimes where if you don't figure out who you're going to be with you could die. So it was triggering that past life, except at a very subtle level, because, you know, you only dig as deep as you want to dig. And some people don't really want to dig that deep. Um, Is there anything else that you wanted to say about this session? Yes, I want to address outer beauty in women. Okay, good. Good You have these beautiful women who 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 dress to the the nines so, dress to the nines gorgeous and they're not attracted to men and they don't know why well i i, I have encountered this reality years ago when women are put it on their makeup when they're doing their hair, hair when they're putting on their outfit to like a um, it's called a lady killer or whatever they're actually in male energy then, and they're similar to putting on their armor for battle. 
And so even though they think they're like beautiful, they're making their energy harder and harder the more they try to be beautiful. That's why men, you know, don't really care for that all the time. They like the girl next door. They like female energy to be relaxed in its energy and not to be, you know, in attack mode. And so sometimes if you wear too much makeup or try too hard, make sure you're not in attack mode because that will work against your purpose. Good advice. Um, I think there is a lot to say about tapping into the inner beauty, not necessarily the the outer sense of body image. And um, I suspect the the issues around that are becoming more prevalent in this sort of hyper social media age and um, you know, celebrities and whatever. But oh my god, there's just so yeah. much more to. Um, this, this, there's so much richer, more richer content in your life than that outer. Yeah. Mm. So there's another thing that happens in energy is some people who project beautiful and some people who project good. I've seen this with really devout religious people. They project purity and goodness and beauty, whatever their intention is. What they're doing is gathering up all the positive energy in themselves and putting it right in front of them. So that's what you see. But when they separate that, when they collect all that to present for each other, they actually have to live in the other part of that, the balance of that, the negativity, the depression, the unworthiness, the self-doubt. So someone who's really beautiful doesn't do that. They don't separate themselves and just put just their beauty forward. They show you the whole thing, and that makes them um, exponentially beautiful. Mm. We should do a workshop on that, how to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sounds like um, I think that would be very relevant. Mm. Thank you, Jen, um, for helping us showcase this particular private session. Do stick around, watch the entirety of the session. Thanks for being with us. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, look forward to catching you next time and bye for now. Bye for now, everybody. Yeah, it's nice to know you too. Well, we already know each other in energy, but now it's... Um, absolutely. Um, so you're sensitive in energy, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm a Reiki practitioner. I don't really do it like as a job or anything like that, but I've been attuned and I have Reiki three certification. Right. I've been doing that for, I guess, like 12 or 13 years. And you can't really turn it off, you know, yeah, it's exactly. like, right. So let me do an initial release and see how this feels to you. You may want to take your last sip of your drink now, because while we're, while we're doing this, you don't want to be sucking things in because we're extracting things. So it's perfect. Okay. Awesome. Well, it's at least celery juice. So it should be oh. helping with a little bit of that. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to go with the first thing that I tune into. Have you done any of the taps on my page? Do you do the taps? I have done the taps. Yes. Um, really anytime you post a tap that oh, just good. seems like, Oh, this really resonates for me. Mm -hmm. I'll just sit there and do it. Good. So I'm going to give you something to say. You're going to say okay. it three times. We'll tap on top of your head. A fourth time will tap in your chest and a fifth time will tap in your abdomen. And this is the first thing that came through. We were at least being gut punched in all moments. I'm writing this down. No, don't write it down. You're going to hit the okay. video. So don't okay. waste your, your precious time doing that. So what you'll do is once you view, view this video, you'll go through and all these tabs that we do, you're going to, um, do you have my book? Do you have the SFT lexicon? I don't. I must need to get that. It, it would be really helpful. Um, on page 38 is the energetic cleanse. So what okay. you'll be doing is doing and what it is, is like all these taps to do on one thing, to remove all your karma and your vivaxes and your connections to one thing. So everything I give you that's a negative here, like being gut punched, you're going to like watch your video and make a laundry list of all these things. And then you're going to do them one by one. And you're going to watch yourself, make yourself feel better by doing each one. And then 
when you do the tips and something else comes through, you're going to write it on your list. Like, wow, I feel like I was like in the Viking era. I think I like lost someone or I think this person's an enemy. So you're going to write all those nouns down and then you're going to do it one by one with them. And this is how you peel away the layers for yourself. Okay. Okay. Awesome. We were at least being gut punched in all moments. We're at least being gut punched in all moments. Nope. Okay. So okay. it's okay. Everyone does it. You have to do it slower because this is a mantra. And like you're doing it like really fast to get through it. You can't. So it's very intentional. And then you pause before in all moments. Okay. Okay. Right. Try it again. We were at least being gut punched in all moments. No. Nope. Okay. So <laughs> everyone has to. So you're doing this. Don't do that. Do what you were doing and don't do it with the same rhythm of your words. So do this. We release being gut punched in we all moments. Punched in all moments. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Okay. We release. On the head. Gut... Still on the head. Mm -hmm. We release being gut punched in all moments. <laughs> We release being gut punched in all moments. Ah! We release being gut punched in all moments. Now, one on the chest, just once there and once on the other. We release being gut punched in all moments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We release, you feel that? Yeah, I do. We release the shame in all moments. Ooh. We release the shame in all moments. We release the shame in all moments. We release the shame in all moments. Ah! We the shame in all moments. We release the shame in all moments. Now, when you watch this, you're going to write on your list being gut punched. And then the shame, and then you're going to go through it. And so you're going to tell, so what these do is they bypass the ego's permission and they tell the higher self to connect with you and to release all the shame, release being gut punched and everything. Okay. okay. We release the need to make amends in all moments. Mm. We release the need to make amends in all moments mm -hmm. we release the need to make amends in all moments we release the need to make amends mm -hmm. we release the need to make amends in all moments mm -hmm. we release the need to make amends in all moments <laughs> are you sensitive in sound do you like music definitely so the song is coming through it's, it's weird it's not a song you would ever know <laughs> but it's almost like here this is we release the desperation to transcend in how moments Ooh, i like that okay yeah. We release the desperation to transcend in all moments. <laughs> we release the desperation to transcend in all moments. We release <laughs> the desperation <laughs> in all moments. We release the desperation to transcend in all moments. We release the desperation to transcend in all moments. We release, we release being stabbed in the back in all moments. Oh, that's a good one too. We release being stabbed in the back in all moments. We release being stabbed in the back in all moments. We release being stabbed in the back in all moments we release being stabbed in the back in all moments 
We release being stabbed in the back in all moments. So this next one you want to do is energy cleanse. You would just do the knife in your back. This Okay. So instead of being, we remove the knife from our back. Because I felt it back there. That, that's that tight spot between your shoulder blades that you can't ever get rid of. That's a knife yeah. in your back. We remove the knife from our back in all moments. We remove the knife in our back in all moments. Here, say it like say it say the um from our backs because in is adding them. You want to remove it. We remove the knife from our backs in all moments. We remove the knife from our back in all <laughs> moments. We remove the knife from our back in all moments. We remove the knife in our back from from moments. Do from it. yeah, do I that. Say, you said in. Oh goodness, I got it. I must have some real resistance to that. Then, yeah, it's like the ego will try to sabotage you, and and this is just cool for you to see that for yourself. Yeah, this is really interesting. All right, starting from the top, we remove the knife from our back in all moments. We remove the knife from our back in all moments. We remove the knife from our back in all moments. We remove the knife from our back in all moments. We remove the knife from our back in all moments. So you you have a history of you know someone who's who stabbed you in the back, right? Yeah, yeah. It's my mom and my sister. And according to my oracle, it's been going on for many, many lifetimes. Great. So you would do the energetic cleanse with both of them. And what, what this energetic cleanse does, it's perfect because it removes all your karma, all your vows to them, everything. Like if they have some of your energy, you're going to get it back. If they dumped on you, you're going to get it back. If you took anything of theirs, you're going to give it back. So then you're clean. You don't have to see them any, anymore. Awesome. Okay. okay. Watch this one. We release being born to the enemy in all moments. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's powerful. We release being born to the enemy in all moments. <laughs> we release being born to the enemy in all moments. We release being born to the enemy in all moments. We release being born to the enemy in all moments. We release being born to the enemy in all moments. So is your sister older than you? Younger. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's her first name? Christina. We release being suffocated by Christina in all moments. Mm. We release being suffocated by Christina in all moments. We release being suffocated by Christina in all moments. We release being suffocated by Christina in all moments. We release being suffocated by Christina in all moments. We release being suffocated by Christina in all moments we release being paralyzed by their control in all moments we release being paralyzed by their control in all moments we release being paralyzed by their control in all moments we release being paralyzed by their control in all moments mm -hmm. We release being paralyzed by their control in all moments. We release being paralyzed by their control in all moments. We release being derailed from our purpose in all moments. We release being derailed from our purpose in all moments. We release being derailed from our purpose in all moments. We release being derailed from our purpose 
from all moments. We release being derailed from our purpose from all moments. In all moments. In Do all moments. Open. Do they have an over? No, just from the chest. It's okay. The head's okay. We release being derailed from our purpose in all moments. We release being derailed from our purpose in all moments. Do you do um yoga? Uh, I have before, but I haven't done it in a while. Mm -hmm. um, you might find yourself more flexible if you try it. Um, okay. We release being energetically raped in all moments. That's a big one. We release being energetically raped in all moments. 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 We release being blindsided in all moments. Mm, that's another really big one. We release being blindsided in all moments. 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 We, we release being kept. Isn't this cool that we just keep going? I mean, any one of these is going to like bring you such relief. And, and so now you're going to have as many as we can get done in an hour. And you're going to have all this as homework. So every day you, you want to do at least one set. Awesome. I will definitely do that. I'm feeling it activate different parts of my body. Like mm -hmm. it's really interesting where I feel like pressure my lungs or something else. Yep. And what's happening is you're, I'm getting these tabs from you. You're telling me what the tabs are. So now you're starting to trust me and say, okay, we got to remove this. And you're showing me the past lives. You show them putting a sack over your head and shanghaiing you and being shackled. So one by one, I'm peeling off these energetic restrictions. And by before I can get to the next one, you got more and more. So you're really speaking to me a lot. Can I just ask why you decided to have a session now? You know, um, I, I lost my job and I've also, so that was like a big catalyst. I've had the time and it was like, I, I needed a new chapter in life, Absolutely. Um, not, not finding the right path. Like that. this is three companies that I've tried to join in the past several years. And I've only been there for a little over a year each time because it's just never the right thing. But then also I've had these health issues that I've been spending so much time and so much energy on for so many years. And a lot of them really go back to acne that started showing up really okay. severely. Okay, good. Pen. Okay, that's what, you, that's what you want to address um, mm -hmm. specifically. But the thing is, it's like, it's a gift for you to be let go from those jobs because they're linear. And, and you've been like, mm -hmm. you've been hurt so much in this linear reality that when you go into a job, it's like your body screams no. And the pain is like saying no. It's almost like kinesiology. Get me out of here. I'll just lay down and die if I have to go back to this job. So that's what you've been doing. So you might want to um, research how to live your purpose. I mean, your beautiful presence and everything in a way that you're out there more, that you're in charge, that you're you know, do you have, do you have your own podcast? Do you have your own YouTube channel? I don't, but I get actually pulled into YouTube or well, podcasts and um, like we'll be keynote speaker, things like that. Cause I have some expertise in my field and I've thought about just being a consultant mm -hmm. um, because a lot of what I do is like, I build things. And so I come in and I build this department. I get this thing to be a well-oiled machine, but then I almost have made myself disposable. Because once it's all built, it's like, well, the hard part is over. Now somebody else just needs to run it. Right. So if you ever want to work, if you ever want to work um, and helping 
me and Marvin build a spiritual platform in the world. You're, I mean, there might be something there for you to work on, which will give you teeth. And as we grow, you'll you'll be more of a presence, something like that. But you want to work in in what you know and not lock yourself into linear again. You got to let go of the whole um, whole corporate whatever. So okay. I. I lines up and I, I have a partner for the first time in my whole life who has been like if you want to you know not do this anymore like I will support you I will make sure that you're there taken you care of I've never had that before so, so it's like I actually have freedom uh, so what you need to do now is let go of the pain as if it you've been owning it because it's been so but you've been stubborn and stuff like you were born into the enemy and you're like okay you're like born into slavery this is what this is Life is supposed to feel this bad. Now, for the first time, you're understanding, no, I'm the empowered being. I make up what kind of life I have. And so you're letting go all these shackles from the past. And now it's like you're in this open consciousness and you don't know what to do with it yet. You don't know what to do with that empowerment. But what the first thing you have to do is let go of the pain as if it's inevitable. Because okay. that was just a matter to get you to this point. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We release the shackles of pain in all moments. We release the shackles of pain in all moments. We release the shackles of pain in all moments. We release the shackles of pain in all moments. We release the shackles of pain in all moments we release the shackles of pain in all moments how clean is your diet uh, extremely um so i've been a mostly raw vegan for more than a decade um okay. gluten free are you lectin more. free yeah oh yeah i'm i'm quite allergic to lactose so i can't no, not lactose lectin oh L lectin e i n I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cause I'm vegan and it's not enough. Years ago, the trees told me that um, the, the diet of the future is only consuming things that can give themselves freely to you. Right. Like, yeah. and basically what it is, is trees. Like, okay. but it's not everything like beans and things that you think are okay. are really toxic for the body. Lectins are a protein that are in beans and a lot of plants that are Ooh. actually act as a toxin. They bind to sugar and they actually cause inflammation. Okay, wow. So I'm really new to this. I'm just, you know, I've been a girl who's addicted to sugar in utero, right? My mother drank all through my pregnancy. So I'm just been addicted to sugar, but now I have got to just go lectin free because gluten free, dairy free, and meat free is not enough. Okay. So, wow. Okay. Dr. Steve Gundry. Gundry. Okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard of him. I know Dr. Sebi says to not do rice and to not do Absolutely. beans. Right. But I so, but there's that. a there's a lot of things you can do. Like, um, my husband makes me mushroom burgers. Oh, so it's like yeah. mushrooms and um. Not all nuts are good. Peanuts are toxic and um, lots of things. Nuts or seeds if I can avoid them. Right. So um, mm, 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 mm. you're releasing something from your spine right now. Mm, 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 mm. We release being a hunchback in all moments. Do you have, do you have scoliosis? I don't, but I definitely have some like sciatica pain. Yeah. So, so this is a past life. This is a past life of um being a hunchback it, that it wasn't scoliosis back then and so that's why i use that um unpolitically correct word of hunchback because that's what you knew it of back in that lifetime we release okay. being a hunchback in all moments we release being a hunchback in all moments <laughs> we release being a hunchback in all moments we release being a hunchback in all moments. We release being a hunchback in all moments. 
we release being a hunchback in all moments. So, so the reason I offer for you to work with me, Marvin, at some point or whatever, whatever, even just sharing what I do, even just, you have to shift your energy from outflowing. So you have to figure out that you're not getting your abundance from some corporation or some power monger. You're being separated from that. That's what the pain is. So all of your abundance comes from within. So what you do is, and this is what I have to do. I mean, I I mean, I can't tell, I don't know if you can tell how exhausted I am because I'm always helping people, you know, um, always like online and free and whatever. Um, when they come to me, because you have to outflow all your energy. And if you don't outflow, just wanting to receive just that intention will jam you up because mm -hmm. you're operating at a higher consciousness. And then all this is, it's not just abundance that's coming in. It's all the bullshit, all the suffering. If you don't know how to, to um, filter it out. So okay. the SFT tapping and my help, I help you to filter it out so that mm, only what happens is, do you know how a hydraulic pump works? I don't. Okay. So it's like, um, it's like craniosacral. Like you hold, you hold the body and then it creates a pressure from inside. And then that pressure causes fluidity to flow. So what you're doing is creating a hydraulic pump. And then the energy flows, the rusty pipes open up and you're outflowing. Same okay. thing with your abundance. So what you're going to do is mm, create a, uh, by, by bowing out to the linear reality, you, you're, mm, 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 you're forcing your energy to draw from within and you're um, flushing out the rusty pipes of inner empowerment. Okay, I like and, that. Mm, and so the more that you outflow, the more that you will, will realize that you receive inwardly and not because someone gave you a great job or someone thought you were cute or someone saw how great you were. Bullshit. It's always that inner you doing it. So you tap it into your higher self and your own abundance. Okay. We remove all blockages to tap it into our high, our we remove all blockages to tapping into our own abundance in our moments. We remove all blockages to tapping into our own abundance in all moments. <laughs> we remove all blockages to tapping into our own abundance in all moments. <clears throat> we remove all blockages to tapping into our own abundance in all moments. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. We remove all blockages to tapping into our own abundance in all moments. We remove all blockages to tapping into our own abundance in all moments. We release being trapped in time and space in all moments. We release being trapped in time and space in all moments. We release being trapped in time and space in all moments. We release being trapped in time and space in all moments. We release being trapped in time and space in all moments. We release being trapped in time and space in all moments. We remove all the shackles on our beingness in all moments. We remove all the shackles on our beingness in all moments. Moments. We remove all the shackles on our beingness in all moments. We remove all the shackles on our beingness in all moments. We remove all the shackles on our beingness in all moments. We remove, we remove the hood from our. We take off 
the hood in our moments. We take off the hood in all <laughs> moments. We take off the hood in all 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 moments. We release the trauma. I'm sorry, what? I've got a cat who wants in and is yelling at the door, so I'm letting her okay. in. Okay, what's her name? Her name is Sunbeam. Sun. Hi, Sunbeam. Hi, baby. Oh. Hi, baby so girl. Um, we release the trauma of being lynched in all moments. Mm. We release the trauma of being lynched in all moments. We release the trauma of being lynched in all moments. We release the trauma of being lynched in all moments. We release the trauma of being lynched in all moments. We release the trauma of being lynched in all moments. So a lot of, uh, that's a really strong one, the terror of being lynched. So you were burned. You were um, an untouchable, like in the caste system, like an undesirable. All these, you were um, deformed. And so all these lifetimes of depravity and and whatever. And so you the skin thing is just playing out this trauma. And once you acknowledge this trauma, your body doesn't have to cry out to be validated. Yeah, I have someone makes, who can, what? I was just saying that makes a lot of sense. Like mm -hmm. even since I got it from such a young age and so severely, I was mm -hmm. always bullied and yeah, like ostracized. So that's just that bullying is just playing out what you're used to you're angry on some of a past life and they're bringing out so that you can release it that's the only reason for it now someone who um had psoriasis on her face she thought this now my mother had psoriasis pretty there right she did the tasks on being burned alive that are in the book it was gone after doing the tap it just evaporated and and it's like yeah i yeah so she was shocked because it was like she couldn't cover it anymore and everything. And then it just disappeared. Wow, that's amazing. We remove all engrams of being burned alive in our moments. We remove all engrams of being burned alive in all moments. We remove all engrams of being burned alive in all moments. We remove all engrams of being burned alive in all moments. We remove all engrams of being burned alive in all moments. We remove all engrams of being burned alive in all moments. Mm -hmm. We remove all engrams and muscle memory of being an undesirable in all moments. We remove all engrams and muscle memory of being an undesirable in all moments. Mm -hmm. Remove all engrams and muscle memory of being an undesirable in all moments. We remove all engrams and muscle memory of being an undesirable in all moments. We remove all engrams and muscle memory of being an undesirable in all moments. We remove all engrams and muscle memory of being an undesirable in all moments. We wow. release we release feeling ugly in all moments. 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 So so that's that's doing that issue on the emotional level. I'm going to show you how, you know, how you have different levels of consciousness, your physical, astral, cosmic, mental, etheric. 
That was the astral level. Okay. We release, and this isn't true, but this is what, you know, you were deformed in a past life. We release being ugly in all moments. We release being ugly in all moments. Ah! We release being ugly in all moments. 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 Do you feel how that was just holding on like iron grip to that? Like, yeah. like you, so let's do it from the causal plane from your cat. Let's remove it from your Kashic records. We remove all engrams of being ugly in all moments. We remove all engrams of being ugly in all moments. <laughs> We remove all engrams of being ugly in all moments. We remove all engrams of being ugly in all moments. Now How's let's do it from the pretty juicy, right? Now let's do that from the mental plane. Okay. We release the belief that we're ugly in all moments. We release the belief that we're ugly in all moments. We release the belief that we're ugly in all moments. We release the belief that we're ugly in all moments. We release the belief that we're ugly in all moments. We release the belief that we're ugly in all moments. Okay, so we're going to do it from the etheric body. Right. We remove being ugly from our sound frequency and our light emanation in all moments. We remove or we release. We remove being right? ugly. You were right. We remove being ugly. Oh, I, I forgot it again. I'm sorry. Can you say it no, it's time? okay. Don't apologize. This is huge. So the etheric body is actually beyond the ego. So that's why, so what happens is these energies, that, that's why like a lot of people, meditation doesn't work because there's energies beyond the mental realm that aren't in the, the higher realms yet. So when someone thinks they got rid of an issue, it hides a little bit without form in the etheric body. And then once they let down their guard, it comes back. So we're going to prevent that from happening. Okay. We remove... Being ugly from our sound. Let's do it in two parts. This will be easier. We remove being ugly from our sound frequency in all moments. Okay. We remove being ugly from our sound frequency in all moments. We remove being ugly from our sound frequency in all moments. <laughs> mm -hmm. Remove being ugly from our sound frequency in all moments. We remove being ugly from our sound frequency in all moments. We remove being ugly from our sound frequency in all moments. Feel that punch in the gut releasing? That was the original. Remember your first tab was being punched in the gut? It's this issue with your self-image. Wow. That's and powerful. that's helping strong. And I don't, you probably had it reinforced by your the enemies, the mother and the sister and making you feel ugly. So um, the second part of that is we remove being ugly from our light emanation. And this is like your physical, your presence. So this one will be huge too. Okay. We remove being ugly from my light emanation. From our, don't say my, because we're not doing it from the ego, from our. We ah! remove being ugly from our light emanation in all moments. We remove being ugly from our light emanation in all moments. We remove being ugly from our light emanation in all moments. 
we remove being ugly from our light emanation in all moments. We remove being ugly from our light emanation in all moments. So you, you, <laughs> you okay? Also, your chest kind of like shift and almost like unlock. Like yes. Block. Yes. And you asked me an energy. You asked me a really profound question. You asked me if I'm not ugly, who am I? Wow. So we're going to answer that, but we're going to release, we release internalizing being ugly in our moments. We release internalizing being ugly in all 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 moments. We release identifying with being ugly in all moments. We release identifying being with being ugly in all moments. We release identifying with being ugly in all moments. We release identifying with being ugly in all moments. We release identifying with being ugly in all moments. We release identifying with being ugly in all moments. We remove all curses we have put on ourselves in all moments. We remove all curses we have put on ourselves in all moments. We remove all curses we have put on ourselves in all moments. We remove all curses we have put on ourselves in all moments. We remove all curses we have put on ourselves in all moments. We remove all curses we have put on ourselves in all moments. We remove all muscle memory of being ugly in all moments. We remove all muscle memory of being ugly in all moments. We remove all muscle memory of being ugly in all moments. We remove all muscle memory of being ugly in all moments. We remove all muscle memory of being ugly in all moments. We remove all muscle memory of being ugly in all moments. Mm -hmm. nope. I tingle in a really weird way. Mm -hmm. The energy is coming in now for the first time in lifetimes, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. We release confusing being ugly with life itself in all moments. Wow. We release confusing being ugly with life itself in all moments we release confusing being ugly with life itself in all moments we release confusing being ugly with life itself in all moments we release confusing being ugly with life itself in all moments we release confusing being ugly with life itself in all moments Wow, that one made me tear up. By the way, do you know how beautiful you are? Thank you you answer no, don't take that in like you hear it on the surface. Do you really hear? Do you really know how beautiful you are? And how your light shines up and lifts a room? Do I you... hear that, but I think no, that you're I not have... you're not hearing it. <laughs> you're not yeah. hearing it. We release pushing away. The validation in our moments. We release deflecting the validation in our moments. We release deflecting validation in all moments. We release deflecting validation in all moments. 
we release deflecting validation in all moments. We release deflecting validation in all moments. We release deflecting validation in all moments. Okay, we're going to go a little bit deeper. <laughs> You're so cool. You're open to this. Thank you. I love it. We're good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We release harbor and ugliness in all moments. We release harboring 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 ugliness in all moments. Ooh, that felt heavy. We release confusing ugliness with spirituality in all moments. We release confusing ugliness with spirituality in all moments. We release confusing ugliness with spirituality in all moments. We release confusing ugliness with spirituality in all moments. We release confusing ugliness with spirituality in all moments. We release confusing ugliness with spirituality in all moments. We release the belief that ugliness is our cross to bear in all moments. That's a big one. We release the belief that ugliness is our cross to bear in all moments. We release. Our cross to bear in all moments. We release the belief that ugliness is our cross to bear in all moments. We release the belief that ugliness is our cross to bear in all moments. We recant all vows of martyrdom in all moments. Ooh, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. Cancer moon. So <laughs> that comes up a lot. We recant. Was it recant? Mm -hmm. We recant all wait. vows of martyrdom. All vows of martyrdom. Mm -hmm. in all moments we recant all vows of martyrdom in all moments we recant all vows of martyrdom in all moments we recant all vows of martyrdom in all moments we recant all vows of martyrdom in all moments we recant all vows of martyrdom in all moments. I wanted to just scream that one. If I were not in an apartment with someone working very close to me, I mm -hmm. feel like I would have wanted to scream that. Well, well, you are releasing it and stuff, but that's you. So the, the beautiful thing about knowing that you took a vow of martyrdom is that you did this to yourself. You're not a victim of anyone else. So that's how powerful you is that you kept yourself down. Watch this one. We recant all vows of solitude in all moments. Oh, wow. We recount all no, vows. No, 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 not recount. Recant. Yeah, that's really a different meaning. <laughs> okay, we recant, recant, recant. Mm -hmm. We recant all vows of solitude in all moments. We recant all vows of solitude in all moments. We recant all vows of solitude in all moments. We recant all vows of solitude in all moments. We recant all vows of solitude in all moments. Definitely feel lighter after that one. We recant all vows of self-deprivation in all moments. Mm, okay, that's a, that's going to be a big one too. <laughs> mm -hmm. We recant all vows of self-deprivation 
in all moments. <laughs> Recant all vows of self-deprivation in all moments. <laughs> we recant all vows of self-deprivation in all moments. Vows of self deprivation in all moments. We recant all vows of self deprivation in all moments. Wow. Yeah, that was a huge one. <laughs> we can't... See how deep we go? Yeah, that's a deep, deep, deep one. I feel I'll like I, don't I... give up, don't give it energy. Just let it go. Just. Don't validate it. We're just letting it go. We recant our vows of self-deprecation in our moments, which will be bigger. We recant all vows of self-deprecation in all moments. We recant all vows of self-deprecation in all moments. Recant all vows of self-deprecation. <laughs> We recant all vows of self deprecation in all moments. We recant all vows of self deprecation in all moments. We recant all vows of silence in all moments. We recant all vows of silence in all moments we recant all vows of silence in all moments <laughs> all vows of silence <laughs> we recant all vows of silence in all, <laughs> all vows of silence in all moments <laughs> See how this is changing you inwardly? Yeah. It's I taking really all this like heaviness. Yep. And that's coming all the way from the belly, all the way out. We recant all vows of sacrifice in all moments. Okay. We recant all vows of sacrifice in all moments. We recant all vows of sacrifice. In all <laughs> we recant all vows of sacrifice in all moments. <laughs> we recant all vows of sacrifice in all moments. We recant all vows of sacrifice in all moments. We recant all vows of servitude in all moments. Wow. Mm -hmm. All vows of servitude in all moments. We recant all vows of servitude in all moments. We recant all vows of servitude in all moments. We recant all vows of servitude in all moments. We recant all vows of servitude in all moments. <laughs> so your energy is like feeling the lightness. So I'm laughing because you're going from the crying to you're starting to feel the joy. You feel the joy and the brightness in the room now. I think it's bubbling up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We recant all vows of poverty in all moments. Mm, that's another big one. Mm -hmm. We recant mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. vows of poverty in all moments. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. vows of poverty in all moments. Mm -hmm. And all vows of poverty in all moments. Mm -hmm. We recant all vows of poverty mm -hmm. in all moments. Mm -hmm. We recant all vows of poverty in all moments. Can you imagine how cool this world would be if more people would do these private sessions and just get this done for lifetimes? Literally a different planet. <laughs> we recant all vows of obedience in all moments. <laughs> we recant all vows of obedience in all moments. 
We recant all vows of obedience in all moments. We recant all vows of obedience in all moments. We recant all vows of obedience in all moments. We recant all vows of obedience in all moments. We recant all vows to the king in all moments. We recant all vows to the king in all moments. We recant all vows to the king in all moments. We recant all vows to the king in all moments. We recant all vows to the king in all moments. We recant all vows to the king in all moments. <laughs> we recant all vows to be married to God in all moments. We recant all vows to be married to God in all moments. We recant all vows to be married to God in all moments. We recant all vows to be married to God in all moments. We recant all vows to be married to God in all moments. We recant all vows to be married to God in all moments. That was an interesting one. I felt like a little bit almost nauseated mm -hmm. at first. Like yeah, ripping. because it's going so deep that you're it's you're terrified that you're like pissing off God, but it's a man concept, right? So we recant all vows of marriage in all moments. We recant all vows of marriage in all moments. We recant all vows of marriage in all <clears throat> moments. <clears throat> we recant all vows of marriage in all moments. We recant all vows of marriage in all moments. We recant all vows of marriage in all moments. We recant all vows to not transcend in all moments. We recant all vows to not transcend in all moments. We recant all vows to not transcend in all moments. We recant all vows to not transcend in all moments. We recant all vows to not transcend in all moments. We recant all vows to not transcend in all moments. We recant all vows of chastity in all moments. We recant all vows of chastity in all moments. <laughs> all vows of chastity in all moments we recant all vows of chastity in all moments we recant all vows of chastity in all moments we recant all vows of chastity in all moments we remove the chastity belt in all moments we remove the chastity belt in all moments. 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 We can't, oh, <laughs> it's tiring, huh? Yeah, it feels like just so much flowing. It is. Up. Yep, it is. And this is like from lifetimes. It's not just this lifetime. We recant all vows to the enemy in all moments. We recant all vows to the enemy in all moments. We recant all vows to the enemy in all moments. We recant all vows to the enemy in all moments. We recant all vows to the enemy in all moments. We recant all vows to the enemy in all moments. We recant all vows of celibacy in all moments. 
we recant all vows of celibacy in all moments. We recant all vows of celibacy in all moments. We recant all vows of celibacy in all moments. We recant all vows of celibacy. <laughs> All vows of celibacy in all moments. We recant. I'm trying to wet, grab you up, but your energy keeps telling me, you know, we got to do more. You know, if you want to do another session, you're welcome to because you're you're getting so excited about this. You want to do more and go deeper. But I do want to do a few more for these. We recant okay. all vows to the people in all moments. We recant all vows to the people. In all moments, mm -hmm. and all vows to the people in all moments. We recant all vows to the people in all moments. We recant all vows to the people in all moments. We recant all vows to the people in all moments. <laughs> we recant all vows to power in all moments. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. We can't all vows to power in all moments. Mm -hmm. We can't all vows to power in one. all moments. We recant all vows to power in all moments. We recant all vows to power in all moments. We recant all vows to power in all moments. We recant all vows to the lower worlds in all moments. We recant all vows to the lower worlds in all moments. Mm -hmm. We recant all vows to the lower worlds in all moments. We recant all vows to the lower worlds in all moments. We recant all vows to the lower worlds in all moments. We recant all vows to the lower worlds in all moments. Watch this one. You ready for this? We pull ourselves out of hell in all moments. Oh, wow. We pull ourselves out of hell in all ah! moments. We pull ourselves out of hell in all moments. Make sure you pause before in all moments. We pull ourselves out of hell in <laughs> all. We pull ourselves out of hell in all moments. We pull ourselves out of hell in all moments. We pull ourselves out of hell in all moments. <laughs> we recant all vows to nefarious intentions in all moments. We recant all vows to nefarious intentions in all moments. We recant all vows to nefarious intentions in all moments. We recant all vows to nefarious intentions in all moments. We recant all vows to nefarious intentions in all moments. We recant all vows to nefarious intentions in all moments. We transcend all ugliness 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 in all moments. <laughs> we are centered and empowered in divine beauty in all moments. We are ascended and empowered. No, centered. 
we are centered and empowered in divine beauty in all moments. We are centered and empowered in divine beauty in all moments. We are centered and empowered in divine beauty in all moments. We are centered and empowered in divine beauty in all moments. We are centered and empowered in divine beauty in all moments. Take a deep breath. So you can trust that shifts are happening in you. Yeah, I feel it. Good. I felt a lot of interesting things happen in my body. Good. Um, so so do the homework with all those things. There's tons to do. So you can keep doing this for yourself. Check out the lactin-free diet for yourself. Mm. Are you comfortable with me sharing this or is this a private session? Oh, I'm comfortable with you sharing. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because that outflow in itself helps you outflow. And can Absolutely. I just ask you, if you have benefited from this, please, people trust you. So I'm, because this is such a great truth, It's it reaches a glass ceiling of the apathy and the, so if you can like just share with people who need a session with me. Absolutely. That would be wonderful. I felt profound things like moving and unlocking. And I even felt what felt like almost like steam building up to blow yes. off a pressure Absolutely. as well. And just so much flowing up. So yeah, I think that um, it's obvious that there has been a lot of impact even yep. just today. So and I would keeping up with it. I'll see more and more impact, even in absolutely. terms of like the physical stuff. And know that I'm here. You're welcome to do more sessions. Your your higher self will not shut up telling me more and more it wants to do. It's so excited. That that buildup that you're 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 feeling is a release for all these things that showed up as physical issues. So now that they're wow. releasing, they don't have to be validated by coming out your skin or your your limbs or whatever. Now there's an escape valve. So amazing. It is really cool, isn't it? Yeah, I definitely feel it. This is great. I will definitely be doing more sessions. Um, I got to get my income figured out a little bit. We're um, I just barely got off, so I'm figuring right. things out. So here's um, the thing about here's the thing about abundance. This is what you do. This is the secret. You don't wait on your income. Not that I'm telling you to like. What you do is you set the intention out to the universe. I'm going to do multiple sessions with Jen. Just put okay. it out there and you let the universe fill your order. Okay. So, so okay. if, right. So if you wait for the abundance to come, you, you're sitting in victim or passiveness and that's just stagnant energy. So you know you're an empowered being. So let's do this. Okay. I will definitely be back. Awesome. It's a pleasure. This was wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm so You're grateful. Welcome. Do you feel my love? I do. I hope yes. you feel my love. My Absolutely. As well. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate you. you. <laughs> Have a great one. Bye-bye.